Um, I think first of all, I want to take the time out um, to send my condolences um, to Sydney's family. Um, thoughts and prayers for them right now as they go through this tough time. Um, hey, Anthony, just in terms of the game, you guys obviously have been playing much better ball the last three weeks, and then you kind of, in the words of Adam Thielen, took a step back today. How surprised are you at that, and how much does that add to the frustration? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's frustrating. Um, <clears throat> we want to keep, obviously, taking steps forward. Uh, we know we have the talent and the ability, so we just got to keep plugging away so we can start to turn those um, opportunities into, you know, wins and, and really be able to show um, the level of play that we can do. Anthony, you always talk about how you don't want to give up big splash plays, but with Julio Jones back in the mix, they were giving up some big chunk yardage. What happened there? Yeah, I mean, obviously they have two dynamic receivers um, in Julio and, and really. So, um, you know, we respect our talents, but at the same time, you know, we take pride in, you know, our craft and, and ability that we have. So, to give up big plays is not what you want to do. Um, it's not the, the identity that we try to play with. So we have to get on the tape and see how we can limit those and be better. Hey, Anthony, Mike Zimmer said there was a lot of learning by fire, at least for these young corners so far. What do you think are some of the lessons that can take away from a game like this? Um, I think that we've been doing that pretty much all season is uh, learning on the fly. So, you know, I think, you know, stepping out on the field is just about going to play, playing with supreme confidence not worrying about the rest, um, and, and just going to play, just having fun. Regardless of who's on the other side of the ball, um, you know, you rely on the coaching, you rely on the technique, and you play with supreme confidence in yourself and don't worry about anything else. Anthony, obviously now you hit the bye week with a lot of time to think about this game. Adam Thielen said at the halftime when things looked bleak, everyone was positive. How do you maintain that positivity and go forward from this when you have so much time to think about this? I think it's just in you. Um, you know, that's that's what teams are, the good teams are able to do. So, you know, we've, we've gotten to this point in the season. We have the week off in terms of not having a game. So now it's where you, you know, you really – hone in on your technique, really honing on what you're doing, honing on your identity, and look to get better at yourself. So it's, it's a week to reflect and really evaluate ourselves and how we can play better and consistent for four quarters and be able to come out with a win. So I think that's what you can do. Get your body ready to go. If you're banged up, nicks and bruises, getting your body back ready to go at a full speed and, and just come back for the next half of the season and be ready to go. Hey, Anthony, when it was uh, 10 nothing, and Gladney got that forced fumble, did you feel like you guys kind of uh, stopped the bleeding there a little bit or stopped their, their momentum? I think we just go out there, play one play at a time. You know, you don't really worry about uh, what happened before you get on the field. You don't worry about what happened the play before. It's just about taking it one play at a time. So I think getting in a situation like that is just about let's go play. Let's go be physical, um, run to the ball, and play as one unit. So on that particular play, um, I think everybody's just dialed in on executing each play, not really worrying about momentum or anything like that. Um, and glad he did a good job of sprinting to the ball, was able to punch the ball out and generate a turnover for us. Anthony, a lot of people always talk about the young guys, but how about for you veterans? Um, some of you may never have had a one in five start before. This is not what you're used to. I know it's it's a profession and you know how to handle it, but um, you have to keep those things in check. This is a surprising thing for you guys to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, foreign. It's kind of foreign for us, but at the same time, I mean, regardless of the record, it's the, the formula is showing up each week. So whether you're five and one or one and five, you got to come to play. Um, it's the NFL, it's a lot of talent. Anything can happen each week. So as long as you carry that identity, um, you'll have a chance to go out and compete and be prepared to go. So that's what we're preaching. That's what leaders do. Um, you know, we want to pride ourselves on being vocal, holding us to a high standard. 
regardless of what is happening, what the record is. So we're we're gonna keep this thing going. Um, guys are gonna continue to rally. We're gonna keep them show up each day, come to work, looking to improve and and come out and whenever we have games, look to win. So that's the attitude that we're carrying from here on out, and then we're just moving forward.